getting started with VWork Jobs. The following screens will show you how to use some of the main features of the Jobs tab. Let's get started. Create a new job. Clicking on the New Job button will allow you to create a new job based on predefined job templates. You can customize these templates in the Settings section of VWork. Enter a customer. You can choose an existing customer or add a new customer. If you create a new customer, you have the option of entering all of their details – address, phone number, email, notes, etc. Set the job duration. Setting the job duration gives workers and dispatchers some idea of how long the job is expected to take. Don't worry if you get it wrong. We will capture the actual time spent on the job. Select a worker. If you know which of your workers you want to complete this job, you can select them now. If you leave this blank, you can assign a worker later on. Set the start time. If this job needs to be done at a certain time, you can set it here. If you selected a worker in the last step, a start time is required. Define the job steps. Job steps are the mandatory things a worker needs to do in order to complete a job. Step completions are what drives the job status, started, in progress, complete, as well as determining how much time was spent on a job. Define the custom fields. Custom fields allow you to provide extra information to your field workers. This is also where you can define the information they need to collect when completing the job. Text, photos, barcodes, numbers, dates, etc. Capture invoice details. The invoice section of the job allows you to enter a description that will be shown on your customer's invoice. You can also add line items for various materials, time, and miscellaneous charges. If you need a hand setting up VWork, there is more detailed information available from our help desk at help.vworkapp.com.